Chrysler's PCI. Notice that we're going to set up a sweep feed so we get a good pattern. That's one millisecond per division, giving us 10 milliseconds full screen. That's enough we can see a complete burst of information from the computer. We're going to use the 10 volt scale because we're slightly over 7 volts and that's a good scale to be utilized when we see the full pattern. The next thing to notice is the zero point is near the middle of the screen and that means we have a good ground return. That's where normal ground is and we've set a trigger point at this point to give us a good steady pattern. We start the pattern running. Now remember there's a number of modules communicating on this bus and there's a specific procedure for identifying a good module by confirming a valid signal at the PCM. But because there's a lot of modules talking on this, you may not be looking at the module you think you're testing. If you're at all confused about how to do this, go to the diagnostic section and study the PCI testing carefully. But you can see from this, by setting our triggering level properly, this stays locked in on the left side of the program. But be sure you understand diagnostically what to do with this information, and that's available in the diagnostic section.